Hello guys, it's Brendan Borman back for another 270 stream. In today's video, it looks like I am taking on Barack Obama. I will counter with Ben Carson for the African American bonus. The race for the AA bonus is on. And this video is a chance for me to finally hit the 1,000 win plateau. So good luck to my opponent. And here we go. Three-minute timers. Looking at Barack Obama, he does have a vice president. I do not, but let's see what happens. I'm going to open up with the Old South. And did he spin in New York? Oh, it's women's movement. Okay, going national groups. Very interesting. So we're both going to have a bonus on turn number two. He will have his national groups, which I think is, is it 50K a turn? I guess he does have a vice president, so it might be a little bit more. And then my old south should be right at 50. Okay, so we will see what happens here. I'm thinking that it's very likely that Obama now pivots to New York. And although I do have the Old South bonus, I don't know if I need that for offense or defense quite yet. So I'm going to save it. And I'm just going to go two picks in New York. Okay, big clash. So it looks like he's going for town and gown. He will have um, the money advantage overall, though, with the national group. So what I'm going to have to decide is do I continue pressuring in New York and continue to give him that extra money for national groups, or do I pivot and open up? And I think what I'm going to do is open up in... Florida and Wisconsin, combined with Virginia, North Carolina, to get the swing state bonus. And then the remaining Old South states minus Arkansas with Florida should be enough for the African American bonus. So, of course, there's a low spin for Obama. He's setting himself up to um, go in New York and get that uncontested. Now he knows he can. Um, he's got 60, 25. He'll still need a, another state in high tech. He might pressure me in Virginia or Maryland. He might go in Michigan. He might go in Connecticut. Let's see what he does here. So Michigan, okay. So there's the town and gown bonus, but there's the African-American bonus. So it should be two bonuses aside, two state groups versus one of each for Obama. Although he does have the early advantage for that third bonus, that high-tech bonus. I am not in Pennsylvania. I am not in Michigan. I'm going to change that right now. Those are both manufacturing states. I could also go in Ohio and in Illinois and potentially do the hangman strategy in, in backdoor manufacturing without Texas. Very risky though, especially with all of the states I am currently using to hold the African-American bonus. All it would take is a little bit of pressure in Virginia, North Carolina, um, especially to kind of hinder that. So I'm gonna open up in Indiana and Kentucky just in case that affords me to lose a North Carolina or not be able to flip a both of Michigan and Pennsylvania. And so Obama's going in town and gown of Iowa, the lead battleground state with my swing state money, and New Hampshire. I did um, beat him to Arizona last term, but he's, or this turn, he's pressuring me in um, Virginia. There's the high tech bonus, so we're um, back to three and three. So this is a um, good match so far. Um, I'm tempted to spend a little bit more in Arizona, but I think I'm just going to do the third pip for now. 
just to see what my money situation looks like. Okay, so this allows me to get the manufacturing if I'm able to flip one of Michigan or Pennsylvania. I'm going to go all in on Pennsylvania. I'm going to leave Michigan alone. Hopefully he thinks I have the African-American bonus and I'll use it there. Um, just going to protect my Alabama. I could see him trying to steal Alabama. Okay, that was <laughs> maybe a mistake. Okay, Arizona flips. There goes my cushion, but I get I get it back with Illinois, which maybe I should have thought about that and maybe not gone up and used that somewhere else. Shoot. Okay, so Pennsylvania does not flip. It's closed out. A lot of wasted money there, but again, I do hold a very strong electoral lead, 182 to 118. And as we are in turn number eight, this is the money turn. Um, <laughs> assuming neither of us forfeit here, this game will officially count. And my first crack at 1,000 wins will be in the books. I'm going to try to go all in in Michigan. I have a strong feeling he'll block, but I have to try. Take that high-tech bonus away while I can. Nice. Okay, a flip in Michigan. Facing more pressure. Ohio pressure. Okay, nice. Hold Virginia. So he chose Virginia over Michigan that turn. Man, he's pressuring me everywhere. Okay, so we do now have a four bonus advantage to two bonuses. I do have the manufacturing bonus. I could leave Michigan alone, probably, but... I'm for sure closing out Virginia. I'm going to go ahead and close off Michigan, I guess. Man, look at that high tech. Okay, so he has to go right now into California unless I don't let him flip, uh, which I'm not letting him flip Michigan or Virginia. So as long as I kind of counter in Connecticut, then I should be able to keep him from the high tech bonus. He could try to take my AA bonus away. Um, so I'm definitely going to spend all of my bonus money, and he could take away my manufacturing bonus money in Wisconsin and Ohio, so I'm spending all of that. There are quite a few bonuses out there. Latino is out there. Um, I think I'm going to go ahead and advance in California just to see if we clash. We do. Great. So we both use pure cash for that. So I don't mind that at all. That gives me options later down the road to possibly take California if I can get high tech or Latino or even oil and gas with my swing state money. Already have um, Louisiana. Okay, so that's 205 to 102. Okay, so bonuses remain the same. This is a big turn, I think, for him. He's got to make a move. I really don't want to play too much defense, but I've got these bonus money. He could come at me in Florida, which would make a lot of sense for him. But he really wants to get that high-tech bonus. I think he messed up by not going into Connecticut last turn. Going to use my swing state money and my manufacturing money. And then this AA money, I'd like to save my AA. And let's use the old south, and then I'll take my money back in New York. And so I'm going to, I think I'm going to roll over $120,000 of AA money, kind of disguise that. Maybe flip something like a New York if I ever get a chance. Okay, facing pressure in Maryland and Louisiana. Okay, that's not good gonna have to use that AA money I saved especially in Maryland Maryland is a must save with the high-tech money so I'm gonna use all of my AA and some old south I still have all of my cash it's very unlikely I face a flip in Ohio 
I have my swing state money. Maybe I close off Wisconsin or just semi-protect Indiana and Kentucky with my manufacturing and hedge and then use my swing state money. Might as well open up in New Mexico and Colorado. Maybe I save that for Florida. Or I could go one pip in Wisconsin just in case. No, I'll leave it alone. Okay, going to put some pressure on him a little bit. Especially in the town and gallon states. There's Maryland. Nice. Would have been a lot of money if you wasted. Oh, Ohio flips. Okay, there goes the manufacturing bonus. That doesn't give him export, but that um, will help him with Pennsylvania and Ohio if he's able to get California. Now, I have 600,000 cash. Let's just go ahead and get California with my Virginia, Maryland, and my Michigan and Connecticut. That will be enough for the high-tech bonus. Nice. Okay, so the things are looking really good right now for Team Carson. Um, I think this is probably a waste, but I have this swing state money. I might as well... I might as well protect Wisconsin and Alabama with the nine electoral votes. I'm going to save just 20000 That's not much. Cool. Okay, Louisiana is clinched. And he spends a lot of money in Massachusetts. Why he thought it was coming there. And New York. Okay, so he definitely spent some money. I'd say definitely advantage us, which it already was leaning us. 256, there's the high-tech bonus and the ag bonus. That'll help us defend. So Colorado makes the most sense to defend with my swing money. There's not really anything else to do except maybe save it for Florida, but I'm not even facing pressure yet. I could enter Texas, but really, I don't know. That doesn't really help me as much. And if I go into Oklahoma, that'll give me the oil bonus. Um, not this turn, but next turn. And then I'll have manufacturing. No, I won't have manufacturing. I'll have oil and ag that can help me. Clash in Colorado. Okay, there's the pressure in Florida. We knew it was coming. Turn 13's in the books. Okay, 1.2 million. I'm definitely going to defend Colorado again. I might as well defend New Mexico just to make sure I get the oil money. I'm definitely going to open Florida. Use my swing money and my African-American money. And I have a lot of high tech. Not a whole lot I can do with it right now. I could flip Delaware. Could also try to just hold it and get New York. Might as well get New Mexico, like I was saying. And then I might enter into a couple states just to make sure I'm above that 270 threshold. Just in case he tries to force a quick ballot. I think that's all I'm going to do right now. So we'll see. I'll have plenty of cash in reserve. Okay, there's a zero spin. He does forfeit. There's the oil bonus. There's win number 1,000. Thank you guys for following this channel, liking all the videos, and rooting me on. I appreciate it. You can officially call me a member of the 1,000 win club. Good game, SD Wright 95. You will go down in, at least in my memory banks, um, for this milestone win. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your support. There's the leaderboard. 1304 and 1000. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you in the next 270 video.